I know it's been exciting, but now hold on to your seats because it is going to get crazy in here. We're going to make a pie chart. And I like to call pie for some reason paella. It's kind of like a combination of paella, which is a Spanish dish, and pie, which is an American dish. And it's paella. Anyways, that's anyways. So we're going to add a paella chart. So if you hit return, we're just going to go to insert and chart if you're in an older version. And of course, in my newer version of Microsoft Word, it just takes me over to the tab. So essentially, I said essentially a lot, huh? Hmm. Anyway, uh, I could have just clicked on the charts. So yeah. Anywho, we are going to add a pie chart. So I'm going to click on pie. And we could do any of these. However, I'm just going to go with our normal pie. And maybe, just maybe, I might make a 3D pie at some point. But we're going to stick with the normal pie because if there's somebody who's not using a newer version of Microsoft Word, they won't have the really super cool 3D effect. So I'm going to make a normal pie and then possibly even make a 3D pie to, you know, kick it up a notch. So I'm going to click on pie. It's going to open up Microsoft Excel for me because that's how these are are done. They uh, the older versions of Word didn't do it this way. They just had their own little tables that you could plug in the numbers. But newer version of Word has been much cooler. So we're going to put color. Oops. And we are just going to pick what's here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my Microsoft Excel sheet over so that I can see what I'm doing. And I've been going through the different two programs. I, I press command and tab. I'm assuming on a PC it's control and tab and you can kind of navigate your way through the two things. That was just a side note. So anyways, I'm going to say blue was 12, brown was 8, green, and this works the same way. So if you're pressing tab, I should have said that at the beginning, sorry. If you're pressing, if you click on it and you type, you press tab, then when you're done entering the number, you press return. So I apologize for not doing that right away. And then green had seven, press return. Orange had 14. Oh, they were close, they guessed. Um, and then now we've run out of boxes here. But with what, watch what happens when I type. See, it adds a new little color here. And you know that these colors, I'm pointing to the screen as if you can see my finger. I just wanted you all to know that that's what I'm doing. Um, you'll see that these blue boxes are what's happening here. And then yellow. I don't know why I tried to type yellow incorrectly both times. And then press return. Okay, so now I can press this red button. And it doesn't matter if I save that Excel file because it's saved here. And I don't like this here, so but I'm going to show you in the next video how to fix up the pie chart as well as fix all this stuff up.